When you ask locals what to do here, they say, get on a boat and explore the reservoir behind Boundary Dam. It's a place like no other. And this is Pee Wee Falls, which you can only see by boat, but in a few years, they'll have a viewpoint. Here's a closer look at the dam, a spot that is literally embedded in the character of this region. It plunges 340 feet down into the bedrock. Its underground powerhouse is the largest in the nation. It even starred in a movie. Uh, Washington has been very good to the movie. But Boundary Dam and the area around it remains an undiscovered part of Washington State. I want people to come to Medellin Falls and explore because there's nothing here that's obvious. The dam is not just off the road. You have to go for the adventure. Once you embark on this adventure, you discover a dam that delivers almost half of Seattle's power and delivers on scenery as well. The project is situated in a tremendously beautiful area. And so people come here to, for, for viewing, for scenic viewing. Um, the dam is an absolute amazing engineering marvel. That's how people describe it. Boundary Dam is open to the public. There's a visitor center deep in the dam and a vista house for stunning views. But I was lucky enough to get on the powerhouse floor with Andy Strong, the guy running this monster. So water comes in, spins the water turbine, and that in turn spins the rotor, which interacts with the stator and produces power. Andy took me to the best dam view in Washington State. So we're going out to oh the downstream my, are side you kidding of the me? dam. Holy moly. Oh, that is, and the river is like right there behind it. It's just on the other side, so the river is only about 15 feet down from the, what you're seeing above you. So I'm, there's millions of gallons of water that are held back by this dam. That is awesome. Does, do you ever get tired of this? Never. Those millions of gallons of water being held back by this dam, they make a great playground for boaters. One of the things that we encourage people to do is to get on the river to view the project because the canyon reach is really a tremendously beautiful scenic ride and you can't see it other than if you're on the river in a boat. Pee Wee Falls is just one of the sites that's only visible from the water. A run up the reservoir also reveals Z Canyon, the narrowest spot on the Pend Oreille. Free campsites, grottos, and limestone cliffs. And the rocky rapids that were once Medellin Falls. Yeah. Just think of Boundary Dam as a local character that shapes the landscape and wields a whole lot of power. This dam even starred in a movie, The Postman, shot here back in the 90s. The movie was an interesting thing. We would do it again in a heartbeat. Seattle City Light owns and operates the dam. They have long-term plans to improve visitor access to this gorge. This place is powerful in more ways than one, and it's a Washington treasure they want to share. People come here to relax. It's very calming. You know, it really allows you to kind of leave things behind, leave your worries behind, as they say, and relax and have a real experience with nature. For your own behind the scenes look at how Seattle's power is generated, Boundary Dam offers free tours from Memorial Day to Labor Day. And if you get out on a boat in the reservoir, this is the view you get. There's Boundary Dam, and see over that clear cut there? That's Canada. Boundary Dam, get it?